The way we structured the uh, financing for um, emergency services and fire protection uh, was where we had a, a base amount, always with the ability to add what is necessary. The base amount that you see in the budget is rough, is slightly higher than the average expenditure than we've seen in the last five years. Should the overarching um, amount of money required go up, then we always have the capacity to increase it. And as I've said over and over, we will do what is necessary to fight uh, these fires to the absolute maximum. There's no uh, way, shape or form that that would be changed or restricted in any way. And um, I've been uh, briefed already this morning on the status of the uh, um, fires in Fort McMurray and I will be receiving another briefing around noon today. And uh, we're very, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say we're, we're um, thinking about the people of Fort McMurray and uh, we know that it's really important in this time for people to be very cautious in, in the country and to be very careful about the fire risk that we know exists throughout the province this year. So we're working very closely with the municipality. Um, our folks are on the ground up there already. Uh, they are um, engaging in the absolute maximum uh, measures that they need to engage in uh, to get control over this fire um, and, to, uh, and to ensure that the community as well as community infrastructure is safe. It's not a question of, of suddenly increasing what we need to do. They're doing exactly what they need to do uh, based on their assessment of the situation um, on a minute by, you know, or hour by hour basis. Um, so as I say, we'll do whatever we need to do to ensure the safety of the citizens as well as the community's infrastructure.